Well, welcome back on this Monday afternoon. Today, not a day you have to worry about rain or tomorrow, but we start seeing the chance for coastal showers increasing as we get closer to the end of the week. We just talked about this in your tropical update, but likely can have this little low pressure system that's going to develop off the coast of Florida, work its way north Friday and Saturday. And with that brings poor beach and boating conditions. Rip current risk goes up, things like that. Probably going to have a small craft advisory toward the end of the week into the weekend. So we're looking ahead to that. But thankfully, the weather today, gorgeous. We've got an offshore flow, the front that brought in the rain. It's already out of here, bringing it down to our level. We've got a nice day with a little bit of a breeze. The next time you go outside, notice that breeze coming in, making it feel very nice. A little taste to fall, even though fall starts this coming Saturday, so we're not too far away from it. And we're already seeing those temperatures getting a little cooler as well. So enjoy that as you step outside. Maybe some folks outside in the Plant Riverside District in Savannah having a nice lunch outside. Well, can't blame them. It's not even 80 degrees yet over in Statesboro 76. Richmond Hill, 81 degrees as we go into the afternoon. But for Savannah specifically, we're going to see these temperatures pop onto your screen, warming up into the 80s. Notice lots of sunshine, no rain today. Rain holds off till the end of the week. For the rest of our evening, we're going to see temperatures going down. We got those 70s back with the 7, 8 o'clock. Dinner time should be real nice. Going into tomorrow morning, even cooler than we were this morning. Some inland areas, especially along the north of I-16, I think we could see some upper 50s around sunrise on our Tuesday morning. Getting you through the next few days, we've got mid 80s around Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just about average for this time of the year. A few little coastal showers possible only on Wednesday, then we open that window for some more showers as we go into the weekend. So we talked about Friday. Let's get right into your weekend forecast right now with that low being offshore, probably going to have some showers around cloudy conditions. The wind on Saturday will be coming from the north. So with that, I think it's going to hold temperatures down to about 80 degrees. Some of us might not make it out of the 70s on Saturday, so it'll feel like fall. It'll look like fall on the first day of fall, but temperatures will warm back up a little bit after that. Our average high is 86. We're going to be in the mid 80s over the next few days. But notice as that coastal low is offshore, it brings down some of that northerly wind and cools us off. And your full seven day forecast, you can always get this in the WTOC weather app. We've got showers coming in toward the end of the week. That fall leaf there for you on Saturday as we open up a new season. And then we warm back up back half of the weekend going into next week. Well, we